all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you have in your list today our question is very serious and Muslims they have no answer for it according to Muslims oh sorry not according to Muslims. Muslims are just copy-paste according to one guy his name is Muhammad Jesus did not die <clears throat> and according to one guy who came 600 years after Jesus Jesus was not crucified and according to one guy he never met Jesus he never saw Jesus he don't speak the language of Jesus he never been in the land where Jesus was exist who came 600 years after Jesus Jesus did not die he was not crucified and he is now in heaven one of the funny things about Islam that a person who is accused of adultery in order to prove it you have to bring four witnesses a Muhammad a guy who changed his name from Qatham to Muhammad the praised one trying to replace the name of God he claimed without witnesses what he claimed and the Muslims they copy paste and in front of us this is an Islamic website and this is a fatwa number one one zero five nine two a Muslim asking did the Isa which is supposedly Jesus and this is where here Muhammad his fantasy started he don't even know the name or how to quote the name of Christ suddenly he came with the name we never heard of Isa where is he now and a comment on what is mentioned in the gospel of Matthew question and this is the question I would like to know the evidence which proves that the Prophet of Allah Isa did not die are the words attributed to him in the Gospel of Matthew true? For as Jonah was there three days and three nights in the belly of the huge fish, so the Son of the Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now, the Muslims here, they will try answering, and we know the answer. The answer uh, is Jesus did not die, and the Bible is not in the truth. But if you look at the Muslims evidence which they are trying to prove what they are claiming you will find it very funny and very hilarious very funny very hilarious somebody's asking where is the reference for Muhammad name if you have my books you have it if not maybe in different time uh, and because of their saying in the post we killed the Messiah Isa know Jesus in the Quran remember by the way when the Muslim they say to you that Jesus in the translation never not even once the main the name Jesus mentioned in the Quran not even once that is a false translation the same as the false translation for the Arabic Bible where they use the word Allah that is a false translation not a single time the word Allah appear in our gospel that is a stupid false translation here the Muslim are doing the same false translation but look at this story here as long as the muslims they claim that allah he made someone look like jesus and he made him look in the cross as he crucified that's mean allah is the one who deceived us that's mean allah is the big big liar and he made us see someone look like jesus but yet it is not Jesus so when the Muslim they say what is written in the Bible is not true that's absolutely stupid to say because the Quran says that the Bible is reporting what they saw and what they saw that Jesus in the cross and the verse in the front of you and even the Muslims they have tons of videos explaining that Allah the deceiver he made Jesus look like he is in the cross but the fact it was not him so you Christians you have to be genius to know that this is not him even though Allah he made him look exact like him so Allah he cloned Jesus he made a man in the cross look like Jesus and now your turn after 600 years after Muhammad to be taught 
that it's not Jesus it was someone look like Jesus 600 years after so what this verse in the Quran proved to us that the claim the Christians they have is absolutely accurate because they witness for what they saw as long as the Quran says that it we made to appear to them it was made to appear to them to who to those who witness there and look at this madness if Allah made us it made it appear to be it's Jesus and the cross so what is the lie I mean how stupid this is is imagine I make you see Jesus in the cross and then I say to you this is, was not Jesus and who is talking Allah saying I made you see Jesus he look exact like Jesus he have the face of Jesus he have the voice of Jesus but it was not Jesus how stupid this claim is Allah cannot be trusted because maybe we saw Muhammad but it was not Muhammad maybe Muhammad he saw Jibreel but it was not Jibreel maybe maybe the one who sent the Quran it was it maybe it was shaitan actually the Quran says that shaitan he gave Muhammad satanic verses so what does this mean Allah is a liar and Allah is a deceiver Allah he made us see Jesus and the cross and then it is not Jesus so look at this madness we just got them busted that the Quran teaching us that Allah is a deceiver he is Satan and he make you see things which is not a true however I'm not going to discuss this for today this is not my question my question which I challenge all the Muslims who they are listening why Allah saved Jesus he did not save Muhammad by the way there's a Muslim he's a smart Muslim he said and I'm going to show you the comment he made I copy his text actually I like it he said the following look at this this Muslim he says Islam teaching the crew see fictions of Jesus <laughs> that's a good one this is what the verse is teaching us that Allah he made us see fictions and then Allah he will punish us to believe in his fictions so Allah he create fictions he lied to us and then Allah will punish you Christians for believing in his lies have you ever heard of a silly religion more than this so Allah he made a fiction Crusoe fiction because it's not real and then Allah will punish you for believing in his fiction that is how silly this is stupid cult is this is how silly and dummy however this is not my topic my topic is yesterday we made a video and made the Muslims go crazy about the death of Muhammad you can watch it we have two videos of them go watch them and the Muslims are so angry from those videos and in those videos we showed you the reference from Islamic websites how Muhammad was killed by a Jewish woman and how the Muslims agree that the Prophet of Islam which is a false prophet he was murdered according to Muslims by a Jewish woman who poisoned him by putting poison in the sheep and all the Muslims as you see the reference agree that the Muhammad the Prophet of Islam he was killed and the women she killed him by poison trying to prove the point that he is a liar when he asked her why you did that what the purpose of you this poisoning me she said well if you are a liar Allah will save you if you are not if you are a liar Allah will not save you if you are a, 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 a not a liar a prophet Allah will save you Muhammad he said have you poisoned the sheep they said yes he asked what made you do this they said we wanted to know if you are a liar which in case we would have get rid of you and if you are a prophet then the poison will not harm you the same question Muhammad he asked for the women who did that what made you do this 
she said I wanted to see if you were a prophet then Allah would tell you about it and if you were not a prophet people would rid of you and Muhammad he told her Allah will not allow you to kill me which mean Muhammad claiming that he is protected by Allah so here we notice when the Muslims agree that Muhammad he was killed by poison and even he mentioned that it cut his orta as the Quran mentioned that if Muhammad is lying Allah will cut his artery proven to us that Muhammad must be punished by God for lying about Allah as the Quran mentioned the Quran says if Muhammad is fabricating anything about us we would cut his artery and this is exactly what happened with Muhammad and we explain that as we see in chapter 69 verse number 46 in the previous video now the Muslims are upset but for what for what why you get upset that's what your book says this is what you wrote to teach your children and then when we read for you what is written in your books you get upset from us when we show you that the Quran is saying if Muhammad is lying fabricating making false statements Allah will cut his artery you get upset from me and then we show you that Muhammad saying that his artery is cut off from the poison and we show you different verse in the Quran it says that there is no harm can be done to any man except by the leave of Allah which means it's not the women who killed Muhammad it was Allah all those verses <coughs> In the front of us saying the same thing especially 57 22 and 64 verse number 11 there's nothing happening in this earth and here he's talking about something bad nothing bad in happening in this earth except by the leave of Allah 57 22 is the death of Muhammad by poison something bad or good obviously for the Muslims at least it's bad nothing misfortune can happen in this earth without Allah leave so it was Allah will for Muhammad to be killed by poison chapter 64 verse number 11 saying the following the same nothing ugly can happen to you except by the leave of Allah is the death of Muhammad by poison suffering for years dying slowly vomiting pain cutting his, his his stomach and then at the end cutting his artery is it something evil is it something bad at least for Muhammad absolutely so no kind of evil nothing harm no bad can happen to you except by the leave of Allah so when we show you here that this woman she killed Muhammad by poison And Muhammad saying, I feel that this poison which I ate in Khaybar is cutting my orta, as you see. Muhammad confirming that his death was a punishment from Allah. Same time, when you Muslim, you say to us and you confirm that Muhammad is considered to be a murderer for he died because of the poison. And this is where our questions start. Why Muhammad was not saved by Allah Yet Jesus was saved by Allah. Who is a Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to tell us what kind of madness this madness is. Because remember, according to Islam, Muhammad is the best of mankind. He is the most honorable. Even the name of Allah and the name of Muhammad are written together. Not the name of Jesus and the name of Allah. Not the name of Musa. Not the name of Abraham. Only the name of Allah and the name of Muhammad are written in the chair of Allah and Allah he wrote it by his finger. And by the way, he have five fingers. So Allah is the most beloved person to Allah. Oh sorry, Muhammad, most beloved to Allah. And yet, Allah decided to save Jesus, but he didn't want to save Muhammad. Why? If there is any Muslim, can tell us why? No answer. Imagine I have the most beloved person I have of my creation 
and I dump him in the grave and the one who is not the most beloved person he is now with me in heaven according to Muhammad and Jesus is alive right now and he is going to come back and now he is in heaven listening to us here we notice the madness and the corruption of the mind of Muhammad Muhammad he could not deny that Jesus is alive even though he is Antichrist even though he tried to erase anything about Jesus but he could not deny what is coming that Jesus the Christ is the one who will come back and no one else everybody die a Muslim he said to me yesterday in text aren't you ashamed that your God he die let me say to you aren't you ashamed that my God is a living God and your God Muhammad is dead for sure you will say to me that Muhammad is just a prophet well I say to you as long you are denying Jesus to be God because he died Jesus in Islam did not die that's mean he must be God the Muslim they say to us Jesus cannot be God why because he ate food look like God he is not able to eat food only we can do so so I am more powerful than God because I can do something God cannot do so if God eat food that will not make him God but the Muslim cannot explain to us how Jesus is still alive how Jesus resurrect people from death how Jesus can make the blind see how he can walk in water how he can control the nature how even he can tell you what you had in your house or what they remember that Jesus eat food Here we find always the silly answer of Muhammad. Muhammad, because he is not a smart person, he always say things which is really very silly. Imagine Muhammad coming to debate me, and then he says to me this, Hey, Christian Prince, how Jesus can be God, yet he eat food. <laughs> okay <laughs> so and by the way here he mentioned the name of Mary because Muhammad he believe that Mary she is part of the Trinity this is why in different verse Allah says to Jesus did you say to your people to worship me and Mary and there's nobody worship Mary the Trinity for the Catholic for the Protestant for the Orthodox the Trinity is father the son the Holy Spirit no Trinity have to do with Mary so if Jesus eat food here we go we got the Christian busted okay Jesus eat food but he fast for 40 days can any human fast for 40 days can you Jesus eat food but he is alive now for 2,000 years can you live for 2,000 years and where in heaven Jesus eat food but Jesus he forgives sin Jesus he walk in water According to the Quran, Jesus from a created from the mud, the bird, and he breathed into it, and he make it a living bird. Which means, according to the Quran, there's birds right now flying in the sky, created by Jesus. Until now, I don't see any Muslim who can give me an answer why Allah did not save Muhammad, yet he saved Jesus. Anyone? Any Muslim in the chat can tell us why Allah did not save Muhammad from the poison? As you see, we are showing you from your own Islamic uh, source that Muhammad, he died as a murderer by the poison of the Jewish women.
Muslim will say Muhammad say Muhammad a choice to die when angel Jibreel came and told him either you die or live that is a stupidest answer my friend because Muhammad he did not die here only he was killed <laughs> what die this is not about just dying all of us we will die Muhammad was killed as you see what the angel he asked him to like to be killed <laughs> so still the answer is not exist why Allah saved Jesus but he don't want to save Muhammad you see when there is something wrong happened to your house what you save first the most priceless things you have when something wrong happened to you what you grab first the most needed thing to you when you have a fire in your house who you grab first a jewelry or your son so why Allah he saved Jesus from the fire which is death and yet he left Muhammad die and rotten as even the hadith says that his nails became green and one of the Sahaba he says that the Prophet Rabba Batnuhu which mean his belly full of fart full of gas and he's farting and why the Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days because they thought he is the same as Jesus he will come back to life or because Muhammad did lie and he says that we Prophet of Allah our body will never decay which is absolutely a big fat liar read this Muhammad he claimed that when he die Muslims they could should keep praying for him Allah and the Muslim they translated it as a blessing which is false however Muhammad he claimed that when he die all the prayer of the Muhammadan of the Abduls is going to be sent submitted to me as if he is God the companion they said to him what do you mean submitted to you aren't you going to be dead and your body will decay he said Allah has forbidden it the earth from consuming the bodies of the Prophet so when Muhammad he died they did not bury him for three days and they decide to bury him when he stink and this is exactly what Ibn Abbas says Itfunu sahibakum faqad natan. bury your friend he stink So why we have a prophet who die and he stink according to Muslim reference We have Jesus who is holy who is in heaven Who have no father and by the way if we ask Muslims why Jesus have no father Do you know what the answer would be? Let me show you and this is showing us how low the IQ of the author of the Quran the author of the Quran to answer why Jesus have no father he said this which I find it hilarious chapter 3 verse number 59 Allah claim that the similarity between Jesus is the same as Adam he created him from dust and he said to him be and he was but guess what neither Adam neither Jesus was created by the word be if you go in the Quran you will see the Quran saying that Allah he created Adam by breathing into a mud which Allah he fashioned so what the Quran is talking about I mean the author of the Quran he need to change his diet garbage in garbage out is it this is what the Quran saying that Allah he created Adam in such a way where he said to him be and he was 
behold the Lord said to the angels I am about to create a man from sounding clay from mud molded into a shape when I have fashioned him I breathe into him where is the bee may the bee bite you stink you Allah where is your bee I mean, how you say the similarity between Jesus and Adam is, I said to them, be neither Adam, neither Jesus was created by B according to the Quran. You brought dust, you mix it with water, that will make it a clay. Second stage, we make a fashion from the clay. Stage number three, we breathe into him. What is the bee? And not only that, if we go in the Quran, we will find the Quran saying, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولَ And the human being was ever hasty. What does that mean? According to Muhammad, that when Allah was uh, uh, creating Adam, Adam, he says to Allah, finish me before the sun set. <laughs> Finish me before the sunset, and you are saying to me, What kind of and 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 Allah He says, Be and He was. Any Muhammadan who is a Muslim who have knowledge, he would like to call me and tell us where this madness all is coming from. Allah saying to Allah, Adam saying to Allah, finish me before the sunset. And the other verse saying to us that the similarity between Jesus and Isa, Allah, he said to them, be any they was. Yeah, don't ask how Adam, he knew the sunset time. Uh, he is Adam, you know, he, he is born with education. Mm -hmm. Adam, what you can say? I mean, that's it. All the stories of uh, of uh, of Islam and Muhammad, nobody can question. Who can question this stupidity? Nobody. Who dare? Go to the Middle East and try. Just try, for a second. This is Ibn Kathir, and he is explaining what happened to Adam. Read carefully with me, please. Let me zoom in so you guys you can read better. All right. And the man is ever hasty. Salman al Farisi, which is the companion of the Prophet, he heard it from etc. from 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 supposedly from Muhammad when he mentioned uh, that uh, it says a, a story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet. When his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from his head downward. Why Allah he breathed where in his nose? When it reached his brain, he sneezed and he said, Alhamdulillah, I will go. Adam, he speak Arabic, even he is not created yet. The first thing he said in Arabic, Alhamdulillah. Arabic wasn't exist at that time yet. And then Allah said to him, Allah bless you. Allah. He answered, uh, Adam says, Allah bless you. Okay. Uh, Allah have mercy on you, oh Adam. When it reached his eyes, he opened them. And when it reached his body and limbs, he started to stare at them. If you remember the comedy show, the, 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 uh, the, the, the dead Ahmed, the terrorist, this is what happened. He lost at his feet. He was like, what is that? And then he started wondering about them. And then he wanted to get up, but he cannot get up yet. So he said to Allah, he wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. So he said, oh Allah, make it happen before the sunset. Do you see it, Muslims? So where did the Quran saying, when the Quran saying the similarity between Adam and Jesus is the same, this because both of them, Allah, he says to them, be and they were, that's stupid. Because neither Adam, neither Jesus was created by be. What about Jesus? Allah, he breathed into Mary in her private part. He did not say be. He did not say be. 
so why Islam is a stupid cult I mean you cannot even maintain a lie even small little lie you cannot cover yourself with it was Allah saying to Mary be having a child and she have a child or he breathed into her he breathed into her vagina Hmm? Chapter 21, verse number 92. Well, let he ahsanat farjaha fanafakna fiha min ruhina. In the from verse, he says, fanafakna fihi. Chapter 66, verse number 12. And we breathe into it. What is that? Farjaha. What farjaha? Her private part. Allah is vagina blower. Chapter 66, verse number 12. If you read the Muslim translation, you will see he breathed into her body. Where in her body, my friend? I mean, why you didn't tell us where exactly in her body? What do you mean he breathed into her body? However, this is a con total contradiction for what Allah said regarding both Adam and Jesus. As you see, none of them was created by B and he was. In the case of Jesus, Allah he breathed into Mary. In the case of Adam, Allah he made dust, mud, and then he breathed into uh, he fashioned the mud and then he breathed into it. And then we have Adam. So we notice always that when we speak about Islam, there's a short logic, stupid logic. And Allah cannot explain to us anything he say, as always. Even when they ask Allah about the spirit, like the Muslim, they say that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. How Jibreel can be Holy Spirit if Allah ordered him to bow down to Adam? How holy bow down to a sinner? When you call him holy, that's mean he's holy. The second you call him holy, that's mean he's God. In Christianity, even angels, they are fail. They, they fail. Holiness only for God. Look here. If you go in the Quran, you will see tons of things which is very silly. Chapter 2, verse number 34. Allah, He ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Allah, in chapter 2, verse number 98, says that the one who are the enemy to Allah and His angel. And his messengers and to Jibreel and Mikhail. Why don't ask me why? Well, what does that mean? Nobody knows. If you go down a little bit, you will see Muhammad he go even farther with his madness. Uh, Muhammad he wanted to explain to us uh, who is he? So Allah he made the witness, he took a shahada. And what the shahada is? Read carefully on love. There's no God but He. Well, Allah is speaking about Himself. He says, No God but He. Shouldn't He say, No God but I? Allah witnessed that there's no Allah but Allah. And He called Allah He. And then he add, he says, his angels and those endued with knowledge standing firm on justice. What does this have to do with this? And then a second after he says, the religion for Allah is Islam. The religion of Allah is Islam. So you idiot, why you call the Christians people of the book? If the religion for Allah is Islam, why you call people who they are Christians and Jews people of the book because people of the book mean those who have the book of God So how they are not Muslims yet you call them people of the book and How they have a corrupted book and you call them people of the book Imagine a guy. He don't have a car and he said to you the guy with the car But you don't have a car
Islam is an insane religion you call us people of the book but yet you claim that our book is gone how silly are you imagine I have now brother Sam Shamoon with me and I say to you the guy with the hair but the guy is bold people will die laughing so do we have hair we don't have hair so the Quran keeps saying Ahlul Kitab Ahlul Kitab people of the book and the funny Muslims never been called the people of the book so how you have a book but you are not called the people of the book and we don't have the book and we are na our name is the people of the book I mean, how silly that is. So you are the one who have a book and we are the one who don't have a book. And we are the one who is called people of the book and you are the one who is not called people of the book. I am not sure what kind of food the guy who wrote the Quran used to eat. But for sure, it's not McDonald. It's something worse. Until now, we saw no answer from the Muslims why Jesus right now in heaven, why Jesus will kill the devil, why Jesus will bring victory to God, why Jesus will accomplish the mission, why Jesus is the one who will do justice in earth, not Muhammad. While Muhammad is dead in the grave, Jesus, the living Lord, is above us right now listening to us. The Muslims, they try always to fool us speaking how amazing Muhammad is well Muhammad was a rapist from your books killer from your book child molester from your book even he was accused of stealing underwear from your book so what is left what is left kissing men wearing women clothes I mean you name it he ripped the women two parts where she's alive and the Muslim they say to us Islam is against killing women As you see, my friends, Muslims have no answer. And Muhammad, uh, somebody saying Muhammad, he was bewitched. My friend, Muhammad was not bewitched, but by when the Muslim they say to us, confirming that Muhammad was bewitched, they just confirm that Muhammad can't be a prophet because in order to be bewitched, that means Satan is controlling you. The Arab in the old days, if anyone he loses his mind, they cannot explain what's happening. They call him bewitched. And not only the Arab actually, because they can explain what's happening. So Muhammad, he was bewitched, so he had he had began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. Is that Muhammad imagining that Jesus was in the cross, but he was not? Is that Muhammad imagining himself? seeing Jibreel but he is not is that Muhammad hearing the voices as the sound of the bell and he said he did not one of the most funny things do you debate you do you have a Skype open give me your Skype I will call you okay, let's see how good you are one of the things Muhammad he said That uh, he used to receive uh, receive Quran like the sound of a bell. Muhammad he received Quran in a sound of a bell. Read carefully with me. How does the divine inspirations come to you? He replied. In all those ways, the angels sometimes they comes to me with the voice which resembled the sound of a ringing bell. What? 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 The divine come to you, Muhammad, in a sound of a bell. Is that for real?
Is that for real? Like what? Is that how? Or maybe like this? Or maybe like that. Hello. And Muhammad, he say hello. Or maybe like this. Which one? Muhammad, he received Quran as a ringing of a bell. Do we have any Muslim in the chat? If we ask Zakir Naik, how the Prophet here received his Quran, Zakir Naik will answer with no hesitation. Says, Brother Sitter, there the person is named the Christian Prince, and he always come with funny person, and he always try to downgrade the Prophet, and we can get him but to easy. He said, How the Prophet he received the Quran at the ring of a bell, and it's very simple, and we can get him but to easy, but always, brother. Never answer him, never say yes, never say no, because brother, he is going to make fun of you. And let me explain to you all of what we know, brother, that there is in certain time in certain countries they used to use something called Morse code, yes, Morse code. And brother, this is exactly what the Prophet used to receive, Morse code. Allah is the first one who created Morse code. Uh, I see a sister there, a brother, there, I have a question. What is the question, brother? They are giving me a text, brother. Send it me by text, brother. Okay, the brother, they are asking question. How the Prophet, he was able to translate the Morse code into Arabic Quran? That's a very smart question. Absolutely, this is very smart of you. That's very easy. Because Allah, he taught him, and he gave him the code for the Morse code. So when Allah, the Prophet, he gave him like, Bismillah, Allahman, Allahim, it come to him like this. Did you hear this one? The last one, it was Ar-Rahim. Listen carefully again, brother. Yeah, this is Ar-Rahim. Okay, the first one, ding, ding, ding. This is Bismillah, and then ding, ding, Ar-Rahim. Okay, so the Prophet, he received Quran as a sound of a bill. How it came in Arabic? Any Muslim can explain to us? The Prophet received a ring of a bill. How the ring of a bill became Arabic, man? If there is any Muslim, after I finish broadcast, all the Muslim they will start calling me names, and all of them they are brave, and they will say, "Aren't you ashamed that your God die?" I say to you, "Aren't you ashamed that my God is alive and your prophet is dead? Aren't you ashamed that you follow the dead man but you don't follow the living person?" Imagine, let us say, for the sake of argument, Isa is just a prophet. You call him Isa, right? So why you follow a dead man? His name is Muhammad. Not the living prophet, his name is Jesus, according to Islam. Silly, stupid cult, blind following the blind. And the Quran says, What is the blind and the one who can see is equal? My friend, I say, The blind he can see better from you because the blind he is blind by eyes, but he is not blind by heart. But let me show you something maybe will make you feel more embarrassment to be a Muslim. Allah, he says. My keyboard stopped working.
according to the Quran in chapter 2 verse number 7 Allah said the following and I want you to read carefully and try not to die laughing Allah has set a seal on their heart and on their hearing and on their eyes a veil <laughs> You know, have you ever heard of somebody saying to you, Why you are stupid? Why you can't understand? Why you don't hear me, man? Huh? Why you don't hear me? Do you see me? No, I don't see you. Do you hear me? No, I don't hear you. He set a seal in our heart, in our hearing, in our eyes, and he wonder why we don't believe. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? <clears throat> he made you blind and deaf, and your heart cannot receive. And then he will punish you for he made you blind he sealed your ears and he made your heart does not want to accept who is the stupid here so if Allah he set a seal on our heart in our eyes on our earring on our ears so why he sent a prophet my friend Islam is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine to have I want to finish here so you guys can download this video and I can, you can notice my voice is not doing good so I apologize because I was speaking to somebody early in the morning somebody with his family who decided to leave Islam and I'm very happy for them and actually I saw uh, Fadi uh, who was in the chat he was saying something that he decided to leave Islam or something like that Fadi he was arguing for long are you there Fadi Fadi, if you decide to leave Islam for real, speak to me in, in Skype and we will talk, my friend. I'm happy for you. And this is what happened. In the beginning, you resist, you fight, but the truth will set you free. Islam is a stupid cult and you cannot resist the truth and you cannot debate Christian prince. Not as long you are worshipping such a silly God. Thank you very much for being with us. Don't forget, please, to get my videos download them and don't forget to get my books which can be found in Amazon <clears throat> in many languages and now we have the new Spanish uh, translation is out if you speak Spanish uh, tell your friends about it <clears throat> see my voice is totally gone actually I apologize really uh, this is very embarrassing I mean what happened to my voice uh, but talking too much is not easy you know it's not it's not uh, an easy task uh, but it's uh, you know we talk for good and uh, we do our best to help as many people as we can so please tell your friends about our books in many languages and I hope uh, you know people who read them they make a review honest review and trust me my books are a treasure of information because we don't uh, you know we don't give opinions it's like it's really a treasure of information there's nothing there except a reference and little comments which means you will have endless reference which nobody can refute and nobody can deny from their books from their writing from their words from their own publishing books how they can deny that and this is why the Muslims they said to me before just a few days ago one of them he says to me don't use our logic this is what their fear is don't use our logic we use your logic to defeat your logic for your logic is silly and then you will notice how silly your logic is your logic is the same logic of Allah how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend that is a silly logic because how Mary she can have a son when she don't have a boyfriend this is how silly this God is I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you again don't forget please to download the video immediately because we will not keep it long in my page as usual and always if you miss a video which means you could not watch it all it's gone you can go to patreon you will find it in the first page or you know or you can subscribe to those who download my videos and you can get the video search for the same title the same day and you will find it thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you all christ is lord islam is false and see you soon take care